One of the easiest companies to bandwagon hate is EA, but what is important to note is that Motive is going above and beyond on the Dead Space remake. Motive is a small Montreal-based studio that are founded on the ethos that it's possible to innovate on AAA titles and still be wildly successful. Dead Space doesn't appear to be a simple cash-in on the popularity of space games at the moment. It's important to note that Motive is also not paying these bills, which means that EA is fully supporting how much extra work and extra cost is going into the Dead Space remake. EA cares about games, just ask Joseph Ferris about the EA Originals program where EA makes zero profit. Here are just five of the ways that we know that Motive is enhancing Dead Space. This time around, the audio is going to produce more tension by using audio occlusion, which basically means how many things are blocking the audio source. Motive detailed how in previous games, if you opened a door, you would hear a necromorph like it was right next to you because technically it was, but there was a lot of walls and corridors in between you. The technology of 2008 just couldn't compute that the audio shouldn't go directly to you. In the upcoming remake, with the power of the new audio technology, it's now going to sound like that necromorph is very far away when you first open the door. However, as you start to head down the corridor, you can hear what direction it's coming from and how much closer you're getting to your potential demise, which will easily increase the amount of terror with each step you take. Nothing breaks immersion more than surviving a necromorph attack or barely getting to an airlock to be greeted with a line of dialogue that doesn't match the tone of the situation. Motive is introducing a new system called Alive that will drastically change the tone of voiceovers. Adrenaline, limbic system, intelligent dialogue, vitals, and exertion are the elements of Alive and that will affect how Isaac responds situationally using one of three recorded voiceovers. This means that Motive recorded each line of dialogue three times. The Alive system not only improves the dialogue, but also heartbeat and breathing have been greatly improved that will have you on the edge of your seat, just like Isaac would be. Not only has Isaac and his suit been redesigned from the ground up, don't worry, it still looks instantly recognizable, but the Necromorphs have also fully been rebuilt. The Necromorphs now have four phases from the standard unharmed version that we know, all the way to limbs hanging off and internal organs exposed. This may sound extreme, especially when you consider that internal muscles, organs, and bones are also fully redesigned individually, but the immersion will likely be unmatched when specific parts are exposed. This will also provide more variety when dealing with necromorphs throughout the game because the damage you inflict will change from enemy to enemy, making a more memorable experience, perhaps even scarring. Dead Space is known for having a very industrial and muted color palette and Motive wanted to stay true to that but find small areas that they could enhance the game while keeping the essence of what made the original special. Motive now has plenty of technology at their disposal that they can affect how the visuals look including applying zero gravity effects which will change the behavior of something like an explosion or how an explosion would properly behave in a pitch black area. Even elements like fog and smoke are going to interact with the environment as they would in real life with it bouncing off a necromorph instead of just clipping right through it. These aren't things that you would immediately think of, but they would subconsciously provide a better experience. Lighting is one of the biggest factors in determining how terrifying a game is. Motive is fully aware of how great the lighting in the original Dead Space was, and rather than just cut and paste the lights from the original, they are redesigning the fixtures to add depth and realism to the existing places where there were lights, as well as adding in some additional fixtures that are using specific bulbs and how they would react in the real world from incandescent, halogens, and fluorescents. It doesn't end there though, as they are also including what Kelvin the temperature of the light is, which will determine what color the light will be. Add that into modern technology like parallax effects, volumetric lighting, and this is going to result in greater immersion due to the realism you feel. Each type of light will flicker differently based on the bulb it uses, and Dead Space will feature real-time lighting that will allow each specific light to operate differently. According to the developers, this is going to improve the ambiance and the level of horror. These are just five of the ways that Motive is going above and beyond what is expected. The development team shares insight on the design process every few months, and with many more months before its release, we are likely going to learn a lot more before January. And this is also a very refreshing amount of transparency that shows how much care is being applied to Dead Space. 
Based on what we have seen, it seems plausible that Motive will also add in some new plot elements and mechanics, similar to how Capcom have treated their Resident Evil remake. Motive and EA understand that if they want this IP to be viable for a new entry in the future, they need to show people that they care about this series as much as we do.